do this. Good morning, everybody. Today's daf, I think, is actually Lama Gimel, but we're going to be doing Lama Bays and Lama Gimel. We're at the start of the fourth parak, uh, Parakashulea. So we had a bit of a digression over the past few blot, which began with someone appointing a shliach for the Liberaget, and we're going to be kind of back in the morning. We are starting the New Parak and Daf Lamed Beis Ahmed Aleph. Good morning. Daf Lamed Beis Ahmed Aleph. So let's get into it. So the Mishnah says, "Hashleach get the ishto." A person sends a get via shliach to his wife, but then he kind of has a change of heart. So he gives a shliach. So then he, you know, meets the shliach, and he basically, oh, shalach achra shliach. Or instead of himself meeting the shliach, he sends another shliach. To meet the, the first shliach, but Amar lo get an asati lecha batulu, and he says the get that I gave you to give my wife mm-hmm. should be batul, meaning it should no longer be it should no longer be good. Please do not give her this get. So I raise a batul. That worked. You can cancel. You can effectively cancel the shliachs. Another case, kira meitil So let's say you sent this shliach out to you know to deliver this get, and instead of meeting the shliach, you run and uh, you get to your wife's house before they get there. Or you send a shliach to come to your wife. And you say the get that is coming your way is going to be batal. Again, it's batal. And the Gemara is going to ask, why do I need four separate cases to essentially teach me the same halacha, right? Which is, even though I sent a shliach with a get, I have the opportunity to cancel the get, which, by the way, is a bit of a chiddush, right? Sometimes you could think if I do something, but if I make something truma, I can't just cancel it. So, like, maybe you would think if I make a shliach, then maybe that, that's the end of it. But the Gemara give us four different cases that say, no, I have an opportunity so long as the get gets, so long as I get to the shliach, or my shliach gets to the shliach, or I get to my wife, or my shliach gets to the wife, before the get does, I can cancel. But the Gemara, the Mishnah then says the next uh, obvious case, in shiach, get the job, but once the get already got there, then the act was done. So then, shuv ain't yachol abala. So then already, there, there's nothing you can do. The Gemara is going to ask, again, that seems pasha. Why did I even need to say that case? So we have four cases of where a person either got to the shliach or got to the wife. But the mission says that Barishona, you didn't even have to do that. You could have just assembled your own bezdin somewhere else and said, I, I want to be a to this get, and that worked. But his of a he said, we don't want people to do this because of Tikkun Olam. And the Gemara is going to explain what exactly the Tikkun Olam was. So for those that may have come a few minutes late, the Mishnah basically said the halacha that you can, the Mishnah said the halacha that you can make a shliach to get your wife to get. And so long as you get to the shliach or you get to the wife before the get gets there, you can cancel the shliach. So it's not going to be a good get. Okay. The Gemara starts with a very subtle diak. The Mishnah said, Hashleach get lishto bihi gia bashleach, which we'll, we loosely translate it as like you kind of approach the shliach, you bumped into the shliach. The Gemara says, he gi o loktani. He gi o would be more mashma like you pursue the shliach, you chase after the shliach. Ele he gia, it sounds like more of you happened into him, you bumped into him. So you, you, you were in jewel, you see the shliach, like, huh, you know, remember that thing we talked about yesterday? Like maybe we, we shouldn't do it anymore. And why is that a chiddush? Maybe you'd have a havim into that. The only way I can cancel the get is if I show that I really that I want to cancel the get. But maybe if I just happened to bump into the shleach, you'd say that doesn't really work because all I'm trying to do, my wife knows that a get is coming her way. And I'm just trying to like annoy her a little bit and be like, oh, I'm canceling it. And maybe tomorrow I'll do it again. Maybe I'll cancel it again. And so you, maybe you think that if I'm just bumping into the shleach mela, I can't cancel the get. Kamash on that I can. All I have to do is Get to the shliach in the right time. Um, so then, the, the, remember we, we spoke out. The Mishnah has four separate cases. We're going to talk. We're going to go through the chiddush of each of the cases. So the first case was you yourself come, you know, and meet the shliach. Oh, shashalach achar of shliach lamali. Why do I need the second case where I'm sending a shliach to meet the first shliach to cancel the shliach? Mahu de sema lo alima shlukuse de basra mishukuse de kama. You would maybe have a hobby and say, listen, why is the second shayach and he's better than the first shayach? The first shayach got his job and the second shayach got his job. Who says the second shayach can cancel the first shayach's job? And therefore, maybe if I come to the shayach myself, okay, I can cancel, but I can't send a shliach to, to do it. So, Yigal, we are about, first word on the line is kadam. We're a few lines into the, into the Gemara. 
So Kadam who waits Ishra Lamali. So once I know that it works, I can cancel the Shliach by either meeting the Shliach or meeting or sending a Shliach. Why do I need the third case of if I come to the wife? Mahu to say Makilo Amrina Litz Urikamachavain Hani Milula Shliach. We had, the Gemara mentioned a certain Havamina that maybe you think this wouldn't work because I'm just doing it to kind of annoy my wife. So maybe you have a Havamina that it's one thing if I'm coming to the Shliach and canceling the get, that's one thing. But for me to go to the wife, for sure I'm doing that just to annoy her. I just want to like let her know that, by the way, there was a, I was going to give you your get, but I'm coming here to tell you that it's not, not actually true. So maybe you have a Havamina that that wouldn't work, Kamash Malan, that it does work. Oh, Shashalach, Etz Shliach Lamali, in this fourth case, if you know that you can come to the wife and cancel the get, why do I need a case that says I could even send a shliach to cancel the get, shliach to my wife? Again, similar logic. Maybe mm. if I myself go to my wife, then I'm actually canceling the get and I'm not trying to just be mitzar her. But to send a shliach, that's... That's not difficult for me to send a shliach. So for sure, I'm doing it just to annoy my wife. Let her know that I agreed to the get and I'm canceling it, right? So you would have a have a that maybe I'm doing this just to annoy her. Kamash Malan, in all of these cases, again, so long as the, the, the shliach gets to either the shliach or I get to the shliach, or the shliach gets to the wife or I get to the wife, before the shliach laholacha gets to the wife, I can cancel the get. So the Gemara says, in get liyadah, the last case of our mission, right? But once the get already comes to the wife's hand, I mean, that, that's push, right? I mean, once the maisa was done, I can't go back anymore. The Gemara says, Because we saw him running to be mevatalit. Maybe you have a havimah that even though the get already got there, but this guy was clearly iglai um, milsa, that he didn't want it. And maybe you would think that can cancel the get, Kamash Milan that it can't. Okay. So again, the, the, the Mishnah had a series of cases and, and, and what was the message that went to the, to the Shliach? It was always, or in the female version, you know, but the Lashon that used was Batalu. And the next Gemara has a bit of an Adarim feel. We're going to get into the various Lashonos, but there's, there's a lot of logic as to the various Lashonos. So Tana Rabbanam, Batalu, this, this get should be Batalu. I no longer want this get to work. Bar of Kayami. That's something that, that, that will effectively cancel the shlichus or the get. But puzzle who? If you say the get is puzzle or ain't no get, it's not a get. Lo amar klum. And what's the logic? What's the difference between these two lishonos? The get at one point in time was clearly a good get. Right? It was done in, in, in Bezdin. It was a good Aden. Everything was good. So I have the power as a husband to say that I no longer want the get to be effective. I have to look in the future to say this get that was good is no longer good. But if I use a lashon that's mashma that the get itself has a psul in it, th that's a lie. I mean, that's just not true. The get didn't have a psul in it. So it matters how I word this instruction to the shliach. I have to say, batalhu, ef shibo, that's more forward looking, as opposed to something that says that that uh, that the get was puzzle or the get, you know, something along those lines. So the Gemara says, lememra, the batal, the lashon in our Mishnah, lishna de batal mashma. That's mashma, that it's something forward looking. This get should be batal. But va amarab of our evo amarab sheishes, va amarila amarab of our abua, mikabel matana. If someone accepted a gift, sha amarla achar shabasa matana lido, who says after the matana already came to his hand, matana zu mivutelas he, or ti batal. If he says that this matana that came to my hand already is, it should be batal. Or EF Shiba, something forward looking, lo Omar Klum. But Patela Heev, he says that it was Batal, ain't a Matana, or he says it's not a Matana, Varav Kayamin. And by, by a Makaba Matana, the logic is the exact opposite. I already got the Matana. So if I say that I don't want the Matana to work, that, that, that's meaningless. The Matana is already in my hands. I already accepted it. If I want to show that I didn't accept the Matana, I have to use a, a backward looking Lashon. I have to say that the Matana was never a good Matana. I never accepted it. But the bottom line is the Lushan of Batal works by a Matana, which is Mashma, that Batal means backward looking, not forward looking. So how does it work that in our Mishnah, the, the Lushan of Batal who is Mashma in the future? And that's why I can mm -hmm. cancel the effectiveness of this guy. But when it comes to a Makabu Matana, the same Lushan of Batal who is backward looking. And that's why it works to cancel the Matana. So the Gemara says, Alma Batal may Kara Mashma. From the sugya of Makav Matan, it sounds like Batal, the Lashon of Batal, is backward looking, not forward looking. So Amr Abaya, Abaya says, I'll tell you how this all works. 
Shtelish onus mashma, the lashon of batal can go either way. It's a switch hitter. It can be forward, it can be backward. Mashma de batal, mashma de li it, It's mashma backward looking, and it's mashma that I can make something batal in the future. Gabi gets, you just got to look at the context. In the context of a get, in the context of a get, listen to Bahani Bakamar, and Gabi Matana, listen to Bahani Bakamar. We're always going to assume that whatever the person was saying, he was meant the thing that's going to be effective for his situation. So when it comes to a get and he says, Bakalu, we're going to assume it's forward looking. When it comes to Makama Matana, we're going to assume it's backward looking, and it's always going to work in either scenario. Amr Abaya, Naktinan Shliach Matana, Harehu, Kishliach. Okay, we have a tradition that the same halacha that applies in our Mishnah, that you can kind of cancel a Shlichos and all that, it also works if you send a Matana through a Shliach, you can chase after the Shliach and cancel the Matana. And nafkamina, what's the nafkamina? The whole lav is chidami. This was a sugya that I actually think I may have given sure this day because I seem to like really remember this. But this was, remember we had a sugya of, of um, zoch and the adam shalom b'fana. So maybe it have a me to that once I appoint a shliach for a matana. So then the shliach was makabal the matana for, for the guy through zoch and the adam shalom b'fana, right? And therefore, I, I can now cancel the shlichas. But there was a, the sugya said that Zach and the Adam Shlomo Khanov only works when it's not Chav Lacher. From the No San Matana's perspective, it's clearly Chav Lacher. So if Holech is Kizachi Dami, if I'm telling the Shleach and I'm giving him permission, I'm saying, be Zoha this on behalf of the guy, then I can't renege. But that all was Tolui in this Machlokas of the Lashon of Holech. Is it Kizachi Dami or is it not Kizachi Dami? It's Machlokas Rabbi Shmuel. It was a Machlokas. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how we pass it ultimately, but Abaya is clearly saying the. That his halacha only works mm-hmm. if you say holech is lav kisli dami. And therefore, even if I make someone a shliach for a matana, mm-hmm. I can always cancel the shlichos by, you know, chase down the shliach mm-hmm. in time. Okay. So Ravina asked the chayla Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak. Ravina finds Rav Nachman bar Yitzchak to tell the Adasha. He was like leaning on like a bar of a door. To become a bayal. And he asked him the following question. Batal mahu. Our Mishnah always said batal he. What about batal? And, and you don't have the he. Take him. He said, ah, that's a good question. So meaning, is that mashma forward or is the mashma backward? And that has a tremendous nafkamina in the world of certainly a get. He's, the Gemara says, take him. of Sheshis, for Amri Lav, and Masni Satana. Rav Shesha said, and some say this, that they actually had this Masora, you know, from a Brisa. Get ze lo yal. What about this Lashon? You say, this get, it shouldn't work. It shouldn't be effective. Lo yatir, it shouldn't, you know, be macho this woman. Lo yaziv, it shouldn't, you know, let her leave this marriage. Lo yeshalach, lo yegarish. Yehei Kharas, Yehei Kicharas. All of these Lashonos are forward looking. So Devar of Kayama, these are all effective ways of canceling the Shlichos. What about Eino Moel, Eino Matir, Eino Mazin, Eino Mishalach, Eino Megarash, Kharasu, Kicharasu? These are all not forward looking. These are all kind of backward looking. These are ways of you essentially saying the get is a bad get. And again, we know the get was a good get. So the, the, you can't say the get is a bad get. You have to say that I don't want the get to be effective anymore. So all of these are examples of Lashonos that would not work. Lo Amar Klum. So we buy a Lahu. Harehu Kharas Mahu. What if he says Harehu Kharas? Seems like it's somewhere in between a little bit. So is that forward looking? Is that backward looking? Do we not know? So Amal Rabin Allah of Akabra Durava, but Amal Rav Akabra Durava Lurva Achi. My so why is this any different? Meharehu hektish, harehu hekter. Clearly, you can make something hectish by saying, I would like this thing to be hectish. So clearly it's forward looking. So that, that's how the Gemara concludes. Harehu Cheres would be a good lashon to cancel the to cancel the get. Okay. So the Gemara now is going to ask. Maybe we'll just speak out the question outside first. So you cancel the shlifas, right? In lundus, how do we view this? Can you? Is this is the get still an effective get where you can now go to the next guy and say, okay, now I want you to be a get lola? Or do you say that by doing this, that creates a psul in the get, so you would actually need to hire a new sofer and write a whole new get? Right, so that's the Gemara's question. Choser or Magarish bo? Oh, ain't no choser or Magarish bo. You don't ask him like what the soul is, and he says, "Oh, you know, hundred and ten." He posts to say, "Well, can you guys say that was fine?" You know, in essence, like. So, so the the get was clearly a good get, right? So the sofer wrote it for the same wife, right? So so the shmash should be fine. Uh, the, the issue is the the um. Puts some doubt into the get. What's he doubting? So once you had once you had a shliach la and you cancel it, do we say that all you did was cancel the shlichos and the get is just as effective as it was before? Or does this, for some reason, I mean, that's really the question. Or for some reason, does this 
you know, impact the get itself. Yeah, I mean, I assume it's not a, a Lashma thing because that would be whoever wrote the get. It's going to the same, yeah. Presumably, it's got one wife, yeah. same names, same I'm town, sure. same. Ah, oh, so here he says it's probably kosher. So there we go. All right. Well, uh, the is not going to want to cancel. Long as done with Shema for that person and written in. All right. Either way, so the Gemara says Rav Nachman on Rav Magari. Rav Nachman agrees with you, and he says that the get is a good get, and you can just go and find the next step, or you don't need a shem at all. You can just go to your wife. And give it to her. The Shesh is number eight. No closer regards, but the Shesh just says eight. No closer regards. You'd have to write a whole new guy. But the Hilcha Sach to say the Rebbe. But the halacha is that closer umagarish. But any, but the Gemara says that true. But Kaim Allah and Hilcha Sach to say the Rebbe Nachman. The Amar Chozera. So this is a sugi in Kedushin. And basically, what happens if a man says to a woman? Rashi tells us the case. Man says to a woman, "Hare am kudashesli," but I only want it to be effective in thirty days. And she says, "Great," and she takes the ring. And then sometime within the thirty days. She says, you know what, I don't want to do it anymore. The halacha is she's allowed to do that, and the kedushin's not, and the kedushin's off. So the kasha is the same way the kedushin is off. Yeah, so the case is a man says, I read my kedushin's leave, but I only want it to be effective in 30 days. And she says, yes. And she takes the ring and she shows it to all of her friends, and they have a bar. But then before the 30 days is up, she says, I'm closer. I, I, I don't take your uh, ring back. Doing the 30 days. Yeah, I, take your ring back. So, so the, the, the halacha is they are not married. The kedushin will not be chal. Just is thirty days. Exactly. So, the, so the gemara's kasha is Rav Nachman. You pass like Rav Yochanan in that case. The same way the kedushin isn't going to be chal if she's closer. So, to the get shouldn't be chal. It shouldn't be a good get if this person is closer. But you almost have to understand the havamina because the gemara says mm-hmm. kind of obviously. Fachi hasha. What is your comparison? Awesome dibur who the dibur who both of the the woman saying I do and the woman saying I no longer do. Asi Dibor Mavatal Dibor. So it's just her Dibor as being Mavatal the Dibor. But Vahaha, he did Labatli the Shlichuse, the Shliach. Granted, the husband is canceling the Shlichus, but gets a Gufe, Mika Batal, but the get itself, are you really being Batal? And the way Rashi explains, he's saying, I don't understand. The money's still good, right? She said, I don't want, I don't want this ring. Okay, you can still take the ring and you can kind of again, right? The same way the get is still good. All she said was, I don't want to do it anymore. The same way over here, we're saying, I'm canceling the Shlichus. But the mice, the, 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 like the money is still good money, and the, the get is still a good get. And therefore, Rav Nachman is being consistent by both Poskening, Kozer and Megarishbo and Arsugya, and Poskening that the woman can renege on her Kedushin because there's no change. It's it's all just Dibor in both cases. Okay. No, so that, that the Mishnah was very clear. Well, I don't know if she has the power at that point to, to can't, meaning. First of all, from a DRIs level, she 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 can't even not accept it, right? She, she, the woman is divorced wow. all carefully. So then once it's accepted, yeah, uh, whether it's uh, Anderson, yeah. whatever, I mean, once she accepts it. Oh, the Kedushin. Yeah. yeah. Once she accepts the Kedushin and it's 30 days. Exactly. Exactly. In here, there was a scenario, there was a 30... No, it wasn't even a tie. It was the get the, the condition is only going to be effective in 30 days. So she kind of accepted, but then in effect, though, she didn't, in effect, she did not canceled. accept. It wasn't canceled. You know, it, yeah, she had after she said no, retracted and said no, something else had to be done. To no, so so no. not not in this case because because the condition was never actually effective. By just saying no, that should stop the Kedushin from ever being stopped. Well, well, it's both saying no. Yeah. Okay. Are we good? I hope so. <laughs> I, you know, <laughs> probably. My Kedushin, the condition was I'll be done in 30 days. Once you, you, you know, take it back within that 30 days. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, probably she would require and get this could be on the safe side. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what Rabbi Reese would say in, in these cases. I don't know. But I don't know. Either way, so the Mishnah said that in all of these cases, right, you can't effectively cancel a Shliach. And Barishona, you didn't even have to track these people down. You could assemble a Besden three in your little neighborhood, in your shul, and you could cancel to get that way. But Rabbi Gamil Zakin came and said, you can no longer do this. If you want to cancel the Shlichus, you got to track down either the Shliach or you got to go to the wife before it gets there. So very shown how you also the Gemara says Itmar. If nay kama back in the day before Rabbi Gamliel made his takana, when you were assembling a bezdin, how large did the bezdin have to be? 
So the snake Kama who Mavala. Rav Nachman number of the snake Bez. Rav Nachman said you only needed a bezin of two. And Rav Shesha's number of the snake Gimel. Rav Shesha said you needed a full bezin of three. Obviously, Rav Shesha seems to be the, the, the more, uh, like, Rav Nachman's much bigger Kiddush, right? So Rav Shesha's number of the snake Gimel, Bezin, Ketani. I mean, it says you need a bezin. A bezin's always three. Rav Nachman number Bez. Rav Nachman said you only need a bezin of two because Lebe Tre Nami Bezin Karilu. We have at least one context where a bezin is. Two. What is this context? Amr of Nachman, Minami Mala, Ditznan, and this is a prosbol. Masrani Lefnechem, Ploni, Uploni, Hadayanum, Shavamakam Ploni. So I think that we're going to have sugas of prosbol coming up just in the next few days. But the pros, the language of the prosbol is you only say Masrani Lefnechem, Ploni, Uploni, Dianishagam Ploni. It sounds like the peasant of two. So if Shave says, he responds, says, Atu Tana, Kirukla, Lechre, Belezel, like the Tana is not like some peddler who's like counting his coins. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. It says plony uh, you plony, but it means three. So it's not counting out mm-hmm. each of the three, right? But Rosh Hashanah argues the Nachman and much bigger than just this context. He says even in a prusbel, clearly you need a bezin of three. Rav Nachman would seem to say that in a prusbel you only need a bezin of two. Therefore, I have an example of where a bezin can be of two, and therefore in this bezin, until we know otherwise, I think two would suffice. So Amr of Nachman, Minah, I mean, I'll give you another raya, also in the context of a prosbol, this Tanan, Hadayanim Chosmin Lamata, Oh Ha'edim. It says that when people sign the prosbol, not only can the Edim sign, but even the Dayanim can sign. My love Dayanim Dumya de Edim, Ma Edim Shnayim Af Dayanim Nami Shnayim. So the Mishnah goes out of its way to tell me that the, the Dayanim are allowed to sign. And it compares the Dayanim to the Edim. So just like we know you only need two Edim, presumably you only need two Dayanim. And the way Rashi explains what this what this raya of Rav Nachman is, is there's no reason for the mission to tell us that Dayanim can sign. Clearly, Dayanim are allowed to sign. The same way Edom are allowed to sign, Dayanim are allowed to sign. So from the fact that the mission even goes out of bit to tell me that Dayanim can sign, there must be a Chiddush, and the Chiddush must be that Dayanim, the same number of Dayanim are the number of Edom. It's just like there's only two Edom, I only need two Dayanim. But Rav Shesha says back, I just don't think that's much of a raya, right? Rav Shesha says, Midi area, Hakid Isa, Hakid Isa. Maybe I'll tell you that if the Edom sign, it's only two. But if there's Dayanim, it still need three. I mean, it's, it, just because it says Adam and Dayanim doesn't mean it's the same. But then the Gemara is now going to ask it as a kasha on, on Rav Sheshis. But then Lamali Lemisni Dayanim, but Lamali Lemisni Adam. Right? That's why we spoke it out earlier. There was a, a bit of a question that was in this mission, which is why does the mission need to speak out that Dayanim can sign? So Bish, Lama, if you're telling me the Chedish of Rav Nachman, it's teaching me that Dayanim only have to be two in the context of a prosbol. So now I know why the Mishnah has to tell me that. But according to Rav Shesh says that if Dayanim signed, it's still need to be three. Mm-hmm. Why even bother telling me that Dayanim can sign? Mm-hmm. So, Lama, so so Hakamashma, Rav Shesh is going to say, Hakamashma, there is a big Chedish. The lo shna kasev lashon Dayanim v'chasmi edim, and lo shna kasev lashon edim and the way, you know, Rashi gives us examples, but I guess if the Adim were going to sign, the whole language of the prosbol would be a little bit different. It would say something more like, we witnessed where a person came in and did whatever, and we sign A. And if the Dayanim are signing, it would be more like, person came before us, and we told him whatever, and we're going to sign. So if you have it written, Belashon Dayanim, but yet the Adim signed, that's still effective. If you have it written, Belashon Adim, and the Dayanim signed, that's still going to be effective. And that's what Rav Shesh is saying. That's why the Mishnah went out of its way to tell me that not only the Adam can sign, even the Dayanim. It's obvious that the Adam can sign. But the point is that even if it's written below from Adam, and yet the Dayanim sign, it's still going to be effective. So again, a, a bit a bit of a machlokas. In the olden days, when you were able to mm-hmm. assemble a Bezdin and do it this way, how big mm-hmm. did the Bezdin need to be? Machlokas, Rav Shesh and Rav Nachman. Okay. But either way, comes along Rav Gamliel Hazakin, and he says... No more. You cannot assemble a bezdin. If you're going to cancel this get once it's already gone out the door, you got to track down either the shliach or the woman. You can't just assemble a bezdin. You can't, bezdin. Bezdin. You can't just go to a bezdin. And the Gemara said, "Why not?" So the Gemara says, "The Mishnah said." So the Gemara says, "My mibnei tikana olam." What is this tikana olam? Sherev Yochan and Amar mibnei tikanas mamzerin. It's not takanas mamzerin. Reish Lakasham mibnei takanas agunos. It's not. We're not concerned about mamzerin. We're concerned about Aguno. So the Gemara explains. If not, Yochanan Amar Bnei Tikkun Takanas Mamzerim Kasavar La Kerav Nachman Amar Bnei Shnai. He holds like Rav Nachman that if you were going to assemble a bezin, you only needed a bezin of two. Who betray and a bezin of two less who kala. So word would not necessarily get out that this happened. Mihilo Shama. She's not going to know. She's going to come give her a get. She's going to assume she was 
divorced, below Yada, she's not going to know. So the Azla Umin Saba become Zerim. She's going to go remarry, have children, and they're going to be Mam he says that if a person assembled his bezin, it would be a bezin of three. Who bechlasa There will be a call. This shama. So she's going to know below minsava, and she's not going to remarry. So you don't have to be concerned about mamzer necessarily. But But the bottom line is, you know, this man is not going to be that hard to just annoy his wife. He's send her again. He's going to cancel it. Send her again. He's going to cancel it. This woman's not going to be able to get married. So Rachel Lakish is like, listen, if you want to cancel this, that's fine, but you got to put some effort into it. You got to track down the shliach, you got to track down the, 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 the woman. You can't just do this in Bezin. That was the takana that the Mishnah was talking about. Uh, I really understood that how uh, a bay trade doesn't have a call, but a tlata does have a call. I mean, when we learn Cheska Zabad, we'll have to get into it, but it's Chavra, the Chavra Isle, the Chavra, the Chavra, the Chavra Isle. Is it really? I mean, in the world, I mean, now I mean, in the world of WhatsApp, WhatsApp it obviously, matter, it doesn't really right? matter. Did stuff really spread only if there was a big thing of Slosha? You know, if the two people didn't spread somehow, I, I, I hear you. I, I, I hear you. Exactly. Simpler times. It all has to do with who the people are, not how many there are. Well, I, there is logic to it, right? Because if someone says something to me and we're only two people, so then I know if I tell anyone, it's going to be clear who got the word out. If you tell three people, now maybe I feel more comfortable telling my wife. It's like, even if the word gets out, maybe they'll assume it was another guy. That's all There's nothing wrong with getting it. No, I'm just saying in, in, in general. Yes, yeah, yeah. so talk about exponential growth. There's yeah. a big difference in three. I exponential agree. growth is a great yeah. uh, plug for cause match. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Mo me. Moving along, moving but, along. Tana so, Rabbanan. Mm -hmm. so, like so from here to really the remainder of the dot, we're going to have two different fundamental machloksim between Rav Shimon Gamliel and Rebbe, who coincidentally were father and son, all about the Zakanas Rebbe Gamliel, who was their great-great-grandfather, right? So this is all kind of in the family. And if it's, you want, you can even imagine this is all happening like at the Shabbos day or something like that. But either way, Tana Rabbanan, Butlo, Mivutl, Divrei Rebbe. So we know, the Mishnah says that in theory, you can't assemble a Vezda. Rebbe Gamliel Hazakin came and said, you can't do it anymore. What if you do? What post Rebbe Gamliel Azakin? What if a man sends a shliach, but he still assembles a bezdin and he's mevatel the shliach? Does is the get good or is it not good? Did you actually cancel the shliachos or no? Rebbe says, mm. yeah. Listen, the, I, I hear that Rebbe Gamliel Azakin, mm. his great 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 grandfather, canceled it. But the bottom line is the Torah says it works, right? So it works. Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon ben Gamliel Omer. Not only can you not be mavatal the shlichos, you can't even add any sort of ties or remove any sort of ties that you had on the get. The point is, once Rabbi Gamil Azaki made this snai, made, made this takana, that's the takana. In Cain, makoch bezin yafef. If we're going to say that you can just go around the takana, so makoch bezin yafef. But the Gemara asks, and of Shimon Gamliel, umi ika midi, can this really be something that mid the bottle, that on a diaraisa level, the get was bottle? Meaning the woman would be an ashes ish, right? But and just because of this takana, we're gonna basically say we're gonna allow she's not gonna get remarried on the basis of this get, which on a diarisa level is not a get because he was Mavato the Shlichus. Can that really be? So the Gemara says there's a very famous mm -hmm. shock of Atari. If you look at the Masora Sashas, mm -hmm. this comes up in Yavamas twice. Later on in Gitin, in Babun Basra, in Ksubis, they must have in called the Mikadish a Daita the Ravana Mikadish. Because anytime you do Kedushin, you're doing it on the Das of the rabbis. Tosa speaks out, Omar Kedas Moshe of Israel, right? That's what you're saying. So when you accept, when you do Kedushin, you're doing it on the Das of the Rabbanan. Inu Rabbanan Kedushin Mine. And the Rabbanan removed the Kedushin in this instant. They basically said that the ring that you gave her, Bidin Hefkin, Bezin Hefker, it was not done for Kedushin. It was done as a matana from you to her. And therefore, she's not even an ashes. She's not an ashes ish. It's not that the get is going to be a good get. It's going to be matra the ashes ish. She was never an ashes ish in the first place because we're saying she was never properly married. So the Gemara says, Amrli Ravina Lurabashi, Tainach the Kaddish Pekaspa. I understand if you're doing Kedushin with a ring. So Hefker Bez and Hefker, whatever, whatever you're going to say, whatever the logic is. But Kaddish Babia, Maikal Amemar, what about a case or a person that was back then that was more common? And the Gemara answer Shavive Rabbanon Lebi Ilato Bi Not only does the Rabbanon have the power to 
through Hefker, Bez, and Hefker to say that the Kiddush Bekaspa was bad. They could even say that the Kiddush, the Kiddush Bebiya was not a Kiddush Bebiya. It was a Bila Snus, and therefore there was no Kiddush. So again, just to, to kind of recap where we are over here, the Mishnah said that for Rishona, you can appoint a Shliach and cancel the Shlichos in Bezdin. Rabbi Gamil Azakin came and said, I don't like that anymore. You can't do that anymore. The question was, this is the first of the two machloks in Rebbe Rishon and Gamil. What if you go ahead and do it anyway? Right? Bottom line, is there a good get or is there a bad get? Rishon and Gamil said, it's, it's uh, no. It, it's going to be a good get. It's going to be a good get. You cannot. No, you cannot go to good get. It's a good get. You can go to bed in yet and be in the bottom of that. No, you can't. According to Shem Gamliel, yeah, 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 ready, ready. Right. But according to Shem Gamliel, who we're going to pass in, like, you, can, you cannot cancel the get, and it's going to be a good get, and the woman is going to be not no longer an Asian dish. The Gemara said, how can you tell me the woman's no longer an Asian dish? She was an Asian dish, and it was a good get. And the Gemara said, it's not that the get is a good get. It's that she was never married in the first place. And the reason why I'm reiterating that, if you look at this totalist, uh, in Rabbanu Kedusha Mine, he asks a stunning question. He says, on the basis of this Gemara, we should be mater every mamzer in the world. Because anytime you have a mamzer, you should tell the husband, well, give a get with a shliach, assemble a bezdin, cancel the bezdin, we're going to be mafia the Kedushin, and therefore you, you no longer have an HSS. And he says that, that it works. He says it works. And apparently there are, again, this is more for Rabbi Reese and, and others, but there are there have been times throughout, you know, there are chuvas where they had very difficult situations and they look to this Tosos to potentially allow a mamzer to not be a mamzer. So again, it's um, a fascinating sugya, but uh, that's this Tosos right here. It's one of the more famous Tosos. Okay. Tana Ravana. Amar la Sara, kis buget le ishti. Let's say you say to 10 people, I want you guys to write the get and I want you guys to, you know, take care of it. Make sure it gets to my wife. Now, we've had a similar sugya. For now, at least, let's assume, you know, you did not say kolchan. Now, if you say kolchan, you need all 10 to participate, right? If you don't say kolchan, all you're saying is, out of the 10 of you, right, I want one of you to write it, I want two of you to do the shliachs, whatever it is. Rebbe says that if you want, you can go over to one of them and say, I don't want you to be part of the 10. And that doesn't really change anything. So I only have the other nine that, that have the instruction to do whatever they need to do. Similar to kind of what he said earlier in the top, he says, no, once you've appointed these shliach, you can't start playing games anymore. You got to assemble all of them together and then maybe you can yeah. cancel one of them. But even though there's 10 of them and you don't need all 10, you do not say kolchem, you don't need all 10. But if you appointed 10 people, you can't just unappoint one of them uh, on their own. So my commitment what is this machlokas Rebbe and Mishim Gamliel? It's by Eidah Shabbat Lamechzasa about Lakula commitment. They're arguing in the concept that Eidah Shabbat Lamechzasa about Lakula. And the Mepharshim off speak out, this is a borrowed term. Eidah Shabbat, we're dealing with Shlichos Shabbat Lamechzasa about Lakula. It's not Eidah Shabbat Lamechzasa about Lakula, but it's the same difference. Rebbe Savar, Eidah Shabbat Lamechzasa, Loba Lakula. Rebbe is of the opinion that Shlichos Shabbat Lamechzasa, Loba Lakula. So therefore, if I have 10 people that were appointed to Shliach, and if I Cancel one. The other nine still have their shlifa. So therefore, be the hanach, hasbi, the yaive. And so the other nine go and they write a get and they give the get to the woman. What's the big deal? So let them go to it. That's still fine. She's still going to be divorced. Everything's okay. But Shimgamil argues. He says, no, once I cancel one of them, I have now canceled the entire shlifa. And therefore, bahanach lo yadi, the other nine aren't going to know that I canceled one guy. So the Azli, the Kasbi, they're going to go, they're going to write again, they're going to give again. The woman's not going to know. So the Yaibi, the Sharvesh is Ishla Alma. And she's going to become an, she's going to, she's, she's going to be an Ashish Ish because she's not going to know. No one's going to know that one guy's Shlichus was canceled. That had the effect of canceling the entire Shlichus. And therefore, we shouldn't have had a get over here. But again, the other nine aren't going to know. The woman's not going to know. She's going to get her get and she's going to go remarry. So that's, that's the problem. I'll tell you another potential uh, avenue for dispute here between Rebbe and Abshim Everyone agrees that and therefore the other nine in theory would still be proper shliach. But over here, so why does Abshim say that you're not allowed to do this? 
Kesavar milsa demis avda ba'ap asara tricha be'asara lemishlafa. He holds that once you appoint ten people and there's a group of ten, that creates a special strength in the cot of ten, and therefore you kind of need. It's not like a takana. It's that you need all ten to be there in order to make any changes. So Rabbi Shimon is saying, in theory, I don't have a problem if this was a group of five. I don't have. I don't have a problem with you canceling one and letting the other four continue on their way. The problem is once you do 10, there's a special power in 10. You need all 10 to be assembled again in order to cancel even one to make any sort of change. And therefore, that's why he argues. He says, if you just try to cancel one, it doesn't even work. And, you know, so it does, doesn't even work. So the Gemara says, mahu. This is kind of a way of the Gemara asking almost like, what's the Nafkamina? But ask it, there a question. What if the person didn't say to 10 people, you 10, kiss Vuvutnu, like one of you 10, but no, Kulchem, I want each and every one of you to be involved in some way. One of you writes it, nine of you sign, whatever it is, right? All of you need to be involved in, in this get. So what would the halacha be according to Rabbi Shemim Gamil? Do we say time, Rabbi Shemim Gamil, Mishim de Kasavar Eidish of Allah Maksasa, Allah Kula? Do we say that it's a takana that we had, that he says that if you are Mabatal one, you're Mabatal all? But Bahani, because you said Kulchem, came unto Amr Lahu Kulchem, Lo Matsu Kasu Yahu. So we don't have the same concern that they're going to go and give this get because they're going to have a WhatsApp group that says, you know, all 10 of us, we all need to get together and do whatever. Mm -hmm. And when they assemble together, they're going to see that this one guy, you know, left the group because the husband told him he, he's no longer a Shliach. And they're going to be like, hey, what's going on? And he's going to say, you know, the husband told me no. They're not going to then go and write the get and give it to the wife, right? They're going to know, and especially if you say Eidush Shabbat Lama says about Lakula, that all right, well, I guess our get is off, right? The point is, they're all going to be forced to be in contact with each other, and should the husband cancel one of them, they're all going to know about it. So now we no no longer have the concern that the other nine are going to go and give a get that's bad to the wife. Oh, Dilma, or maybe you'll tell me the time of Rabbi Gamil, Mishum Tikasavar, Kol Milsa Demis Avda Ba'pe Asara. Or maybe you'll tell me that no, the reason for Rabbi Shimon Gamliel was that if I do something in a group of 10, if I make shlichos in a group of 10, I need all 10 present to make any sort of changes. The Hilkach, I feel Kulchem Nami. And therefore, even if you said Kulchem, I still shouldn't be allowed to be Mavatal one. Because again, it has nothing to do with what I want to do. There's a certain power of 10. I don't even have the ability to change. So, the bottom line, the Nafkamina between these two stadim of she just Rabbi Shimon Gamliel is when I said Kulchem, then do I have the ability to be a battle one without the others or not? If the reason, mm -hmm. if our concern is Eidish Balam Sasa Balakula, I should be allowed to be a battle one. Because being that I said Kulchem, we're never concerned that the other nine are going to act without the tent. They're, they're going to have to get in touch with the tent and they're going to know what to do. So that that is the kind of the uh, the by the Gemara. So which bottom line, what is Pshat of Shimon Gamliel? And the Gamara. It brings a raya from this case. Tashma. Omar Lishnayim. Let's say you say to two people, to new get ishti, you know, write again and give it to my wife. Yachol Lavato Zesh Lobif Nezad Divir Rebbe. Rebbe says, even though it's only two people, you are allowed to be Mavato one without the other. Shingamil Omar Ain Yachol Lavato Lazabif Nezad. If Shingamil says consistent, like he says in our case, with 10, you are not allowed to cancel one without the other. But Hashnayim, this is a case of only two. The Kikulcham Damo. You need both. So you, you should not have a concern of Eidosh Shabbat Lama Sasa Kula because one guy is going to need the other guy and he's going to call the other guy and the other guy's going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. The husband specifically told me I'm no longer needed. And we don't have a concern that the other guy's going to act alone. And still we see that Rabbi uh, Shingamil is concerned. So it must be like the second way of understanding. So that is exactly going to be the answer. The the Havimin of the Gemara is that we're not talking about the Shliach, we're talking about writing the get and signing the get. So therefore you need two. Well, Kismu and Snu, Rashi speaks out, it's almost like Kismu, it, it kind of has both. He wants them to be the Adim, and 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 then he wants them to, to do the Shliach. But Amar Ravashi, Ravashi says, I don't even know why you're so bothered. I thankfully learned with Alan, and uh, we, we came up with this. Who <laughs> came late. Let's, let's get on the record, on the recording that he came, I didn't say it on the recording, but now, now it's on the recording. Amr, Amr Ravashi, Eib Eidik Siva, if the Eidim were the Eidik Siva, Hachanani. I, that's a good riot. Hacham Askin of Eidik Holacha. Who said anything about the Eidik Siva? Maybe this is talking about the Eidik Holacha. I only need one. So so that that's why um, that's why it's not a good riot. <laughs> this, 
We're kind of using a lot of these terms a little loosely right now, but but, uh, but no, but you're right. It's a good it's a good idea. It's the eight a halacha. It's, I think it's the shliach lehalacha. It's kind of like earlier in the daf when it was eight ish about lemitzas, and it's that's really not what we're talking about. We're, we're dealing with a different sugya. But hachanami mistabra. But the gemara says, and by the way, I can even prove to you that we're not dealing with the eight ksiva. We're dealing with the you know shliach lehalacha. The tani seifa because the seifa of that brisa, or I think this is a sefta actually, says amar lezeh bifnei atmo for lezeh bifnei atmo. If you happen to say to both shliach or whatever it is separately. Then you are allowed to cancel Zeshlob of Nezeh. Now, E. Amr Pishlom of Ede Holacha, Shaper. If we're dealing with the Shliach of the Holacha, so then Shaper, you can go to one of them without the other. Ella E. Amr Ede Ksiva, but if you're going to the Ede Ksiva, Mimit Sarfi, would two Edim for the Ede Ksiva at different times, can they even combine to do the Ede Ksiva? Amr Mar, Ene Dusa Mitzrat, that's Achi Yerushalayim Ke'echad. And the Sugya over there. And, and, and the sugi over there is dealing with a situation. The sugi over there is dealing with a situation where uh, imagine the scenario: a person comes in a bezdin and he says, "I saw Reuven lent Shimon a hundred dollars. Shimon owns Reuven a hundred dollars." Another guy comes to bezdin and says, "I didn't see that, but Shimon did tell me that he borrowed a hundred dollars from Reuven." So can both of them be mitzarif to another? So it's a machlokas But the way we paskin is that they cannot be mitzarif. Both Adam need to see the same. They need to be. be Giving Ados on the exact same thing, to see the same thing. So too over here, when it's the A day, they have to act as a unit. They certainly have, they have to act as units. So over here, when a husband says to one guy and he says, I want you to write a get for mm-hmm. my wife, what he's essentially saying is, I am being made that I want to divorce my wife. And if he goes to the other guy at a different time, hours later, and he says, I'm giving Ados, right, that I, I'm letting you know that I would like to divorce my wife. Mehikatezi, that those two Adam can combine. They need to be listening from the same. At the same time, to the husband. So that's a raya that this Mishnah, this to, again, it's a Tosefta, this Tosefta that says I could appoint Adam at different times cannot be talking about the Adam Ksiva, like Alan mentioned, right? It has to be talking about the Adam Holacha, which I can do at different times. So that's a raya to that. But the Gemara says, you know what? It's not such, such a raya. Dilma, Kribishub and Karcha Svirle, in that Sugya, in Ksubis, there was another Manda Amar, Rishub and Karcha, and he said, I actually think that in that case of the loan, those two people can combine. The guy who saw the loan and the guy that just heard from the Alova that, that he admitted to borrowing the money. So again, not such a raya, but okay. Bottom line, we had two different Machloksim, Rebbe and Rishub and Mingamil. The first one was, even though Rebbe Gamil Azakim said, he made a takana that you cannot be mevatel the shlichus in Bezdin. What if a guy did? Rebbe said the get would, would be a good get. Rebbe Shimon Gamil said the get would not be a good get. The other machlok is Rebbe Shimon Gamil was if you have a group of 10 people and you said, I would like all of you guys to write and, and, and deal with the get, can I be mevatel one without the presence of the other? Rebbe said you can. Rebbe Shimon Gamil said you can't. So I'm Rebbe Shimon Bar Yehuda. And this is going to take us to the end of the day. Mm-hmm. I heard from Abba, Tarti, there were these two Makrotsim, and Chada to Rebbe, the Chada to Rebbe, we passed in one case like Rebbe, we passed in the other like Rebbe, we passed in the other like Rebbe, I don't know which one was which. Amr of Yosef, we can figure this out. To he asked Rav Dimi, when Rav Dimi came back from Eretz Yisrael, he reported, he said, Amr Maisa, but us the Rebbe, there was a Maisa, and Rebbe Paskin like the Chacham. What was the situation over there? Again, this is tomorrow in Subis. What happens? We know there's a halacha of Onah. There's a, a Mekach, and the price was off by a certain amount, by a sixth, whatever that means. The Mekach is bubble. What if Bezdin acts in a way where they're off by more than a sixth? Do we also say Mekach is bubble, mm-hmm. or do we say, no, Makoch Bezdin Yafa? So Rebbe said, we Paskin that mm-hmm. the Mekach is bubble. Even if it's Bezdin. Mm-hmm. That's what he said, like the Chacham. Okay. Sorry? That's more. Mm-hmm. No. Even if it's off by a, more than a six. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Even if it's more. Yeah. So Rebbe passed like the Chacham, not like Rosh Hashem Mingam Leel. So Amr Lafan of Rebbe, but in this story, uh, Amr Lafan of Rebbe Parta, Benosho of Elazar ben Parta, ben Benosho of Parta Hagadol, he said to Rebbe, he said, Im Kane, if you're going to say that this Mekach is Batal, Makoach Bezdin Yafet, Bezdin Paskin, right? So we, we got to go with Bezdin. The Chazer Rebbe, Basar, Kripshun, Mingamil. And Rebbe heard the Svara and he said, You're right. And he retracted and he passed on like Kripshun, Mingamil. 
And so the Gemara wants to say that probably in our sugya too, Rebbe agrees to the svara of Bakoach Mezdin Yafa, and therefore he's going to pop in like Rav Shimon Gamliel in the first case of Bitlo Mevutal or not. And the Gemara says, Umi Rav Shimon Gamliel. Once we know that that's the one where we pop in like Rav Shimon Gamliel, Ha, and the other one, Karebi, Bak Rav Yoshia, the Bin Usha, Savar Chada Karebi, the Chada Rav Shimon Gamliel, and even Rav Yoshia, the Bin Usha, did the same thing. He pops in in one case like Rebbe, and he passed him like the other of Shimon Gamil. To Amar Rabba Barachana, we have this fantastic story. Chamisha Sabi, the five of us were once sitting, Havinan Kemed, Rabbi Yoshia, the Usha. So five rabbis were sitting by Rabbi Yoshia, the Usha. Asa who Gabra, Kameva Ashkola Gitta. And there was a man who did not want to give a get to his wife. Uh, and they, the Ashkola Gitta al Korche, and they kind of forced him, you know, at Kofin Ashkola to Rosani, right? They kind of forced him, and they finally got him to capitulate, and he said, fine, I'll give the get. And immediately, Amar Lan, so Rav Yosha said to the five of us, Vilu atmuru v'katule, go hide and write the get. <laughs> so he told us each to hide and write the get. So the Gemara says like this, these Salkadai Rebbe, if we think that we're going to pass them like Rebbe, that all this guy needed to do was assemble a Bezdin, so kimitmuru my hobby. Why is he telling us to hide? What does it matter if we hide? The guy can just go assemble a Bezdin. He doesn't need us. So it's clear that we're passing like Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel. El Shema Minach Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel. So you're like Vi'isal Kadaitach Idach Nami Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel. And if you think in the other case we're also passing like Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel, Lamaluhu Itmru. Why do they need to hide? Li Badru Ebedure. They just need to separate because Rav Shimon Ben Gamliel says the only way that you can cancel one of the shliachs is if you get them all in one room. They don't need to hide. So why are they telling them to hide? It must be passing like Rebbe. And Rebbe says. I can be canceled one by one. So if unless they hide, even if they're just separating their homes, this guy, it's a lot of effort, but this guy can go to each one and mevatel each one of their shlichos. So therefore he said, he said, hide. So Rebbe won't hide. So this husband won't know where to find you. So that shows that in the first case, we're possibly like a shrimping meal, but in the second case, we're possibly like Rebbe. And that's why he said, hide, don't just separate. So Rava Amr of Nachman, Rava said in the name of Nachman, that halacha to Rebbe bestand, we pass him like Rebbe in both. So the Gemara says, wait one second. The left layer of Nachman, my koach bez in the other. It's the wife. I'm sorry? It's furthering the wife. Yes, exactly. This, uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. So, but but the Gemara says, Rav Nachman, you're passing like Rebbe both. You don't hold to the svar of Makoach Bed and Yafet. Bama Rav Nachman, Amar Shmuel. But Rav Nachman said in the name of Shmuel, you so men shabal lachlok ben ichzei avien bez dem amid lehem apetropes uborel lehem chelak Yafet and higdilu yecholim and pol. So this is another sugya in in Yavamis, sorry, and Ksuvas and Kedushin for for that matter. But the point is, let's say a man dies and he leaves over a young uh, Yisomen. So they got to split the estate, whatever it is. So Bezin appoints Apatropsin or trustees, whatever it is, and they, they make the chilak. So what happens if the boys are, you know, they grow up and they're like, I got a raw deal. This is awful. So can they complain or can they not complain? And it's a machlokas. But they say that they are allowed to be mocha. And Rav Nachman Amar, Rav Nachman himself said, even when they grow up, they cannot argue, and they cannot make Bezdin you know, redo this, this split, because he has this story. He says, how could you have Bezdin, you know, appoint Apotropos and make a chilak, and then later say that, that Bezdin was wrong? You know, Makoach Bezdin So the point is, we know that Rav Nachman holds the Svara of Makoach Bezdin when it comes to the Yosomim. So how can you tell me that in our case, he possibly like Rebbe, not like a Shem Gamliel who said Makoach Bezdin Does he hold of it, or does he not hold of it? So the Gemara answers, no, you, you can't ask one on the other. and In the case of Yisomim, that's a din of Choshen Mishpah. That's a din of Mamanus. Over there, of Nachman holds the Svar of Koach Bezdin Yafet. But over here, where we're talking about Nashus Ish, where we're talking about Israel Behetzer, there he would say, I don't hold that. The Svar of Koach Bezdin Yafet is strong enough to ruin a uh, get. I mean, maybe the name Mamanus, or anyway, we have Hefker Bezdin Hefker, maybe they're, they're all allowed, but not in the case of a get, Yisha. So, uh.